What's up guys? Today we are taking a look at a very high-tech Citizen that is not only high-tech, it's also affordable. It gets tons of functionality and a world's first, the first atomic watch that features a moon phase. So this is a radio controlled atomic watch that gets a moon phase. It also gets a perpetual calendar and a world timer. All of that fit into a super titanium case. So let's flip the camera and take a look at a very high tech watch from Citizen, the Tsukiyomi AT. When Citizen announced this watch, I made a news video about it because I thought it was so cool. There's a number of reasons why I think this watch is cool, but the main reason is, is because it has a moon phase and it's an atomic watch. So this is, or they're saying it is, the first atomic watch that has a moon phase. It also gets a very cool dial. The dial here is in blue and it has a map of the moon on the dial itself. It's sort of transparent looking, but it's not and you have applied indices. And then there's a lot going on on this watch. Usually when you get a Citizen watch that's atomic, it has tons of functionality. And of course, this watch has tons of functionality. Not only do you have that moon phase, which is right there at the six o'clock position, they put a black background, so it's very legible and you have that little moon. I'm not sure if that moon is loomed. We will do a loom shot at the end. I'm not entirely sure what is actually loomed, but then you have an AM PM indicator at the nine o'clock there. You have the power reserve and the day at the 12 o'clock position. So those are the three sub dials that you're getting. It looks like a chronograph, but it actually isn't. This is actually a perpetual calendar because you have the day and the date and and of course, it is a perpetual calendar because it's atomic, it's always gonna have the right time and it's gonna always have the right date and day, which is great. And I'll show you some of that functionality in just a second. You have a world time and the world time is very easy to use on this watch. It's probably just as easy as a mechanical world timer. And again, I'll show you that functionality in just a few seconds. Of course, this is in super titanium. So what that means is essentially this is a grade two titanium case that gets an extra hard DLC coating. So it has a scratch proof material on its surface. So obviously you can wear this and it does work. I actually have one on my wrist today, another watch that is made out of super titanium. And I'm gonna show you, I have no scratches on this watch and I do wear it pretty often. This is around 43 millimeters, you're getting a lot of functionality. So you need a little bit of space to uh, actually show that functionality on that dial. And then you have an 11 millimeter thickness. It's around a 5.8 millimeter crown, somewhere in that neighborhood. It's around a 48 millimeter lug span. It comes out to around 53 millimeters if you include that bracelet. The bracelet itself obviously has push pins uh, and there's two lines of polish that go down the center. I could do without that, but I think it looks good. I think overall uh, a, a pretty good looking bracelet. And then you have a pretty typical citizen buckle double push uh, deployant, and then you have two positions of micro adjust. It would be great to have a little bit more micro adjust in my opinion, but uh, there you go. And that is in titanium. So uh, even the buckle is in titanium. This is a very light watch. I'll throw up a picture of exactly how light this watch is. I have a scale, so I'll show you uh, exactly what that is. Uh, this gets a black chapter ring. There's a lot of information on that chapter ring. Then you have uh, sort of a minute track with the applied indices, those have loom. Then you have that blue area. This comes in blue, red, and gray, I wanna say, or black. And you get that moon pattern on all of those dials. And then it just says Citizen Eco Drive because this is an Eco Drive, and then Radio Controlled because this is an atomic watch. Right below that, you have the date. So tons of information on this dial. If you don't like a busy dial, obviously you're not gonna like this watch. But most atomic watches, because they give you so much, they are pretty busy. So very quickly, I'm gonna go through some of the functionality. It's pretty simple, actually. If you press the bottom button right here, it goes from telling you the day of the week to telling you the power reserve. At the same time, it's telling you if it received the radio signal right there. There's another way of doing that as well, but it does it if you press the top or bottom button. So it's telling you if it received the radio signal, it did not, this was in a box. And obviously the power reserve is also pretty low because this was in a box and it was pretty much sealed. If you pull the crown out into the first position, 
it's going to immediately make the second hand go to a specific number between 59 and 12. Those are the 24 time zones. Right now I have this set to New York, Eastern Standard Time, minus five. But if I want to advance forward, let's say to nine, and I'm gonna try and do this without actually seeing it. So I think that's nine. And then I push in the crown. It will then set the time to, I think I have this for Japan. So plus nine, and that's it. Very, very easy to actually use the functionality of the world time. And you can see everything is changing. The south and north hemisphere right there, and then the AM, PM is changing as well. The date will change as well. So everything will change for you. It is awesome. Now, if you travel to that destination, just by traveling there, once it gets the radio signal, it will do all of this on its own. So you don't need to do this manually, but you can if you want to, because it will do things like this. On my wrist today is the ProMaster Dive Automatic. Just a great everyday watch that's really lightweight. It's an automatic dive watch with 200 meters of water resistance. It's in super titanium. And like I was mentioning before, I do wear this pretty often. In fact, I bring this almost on every vacation I go on. And look at the buckle. There is basically no scratching or hazing on this buckle. It is an all matte finish. It's not a polished finish, but scratches would show up on this pretty easily. And there is the Sukiyomi AT on my seven and a half inch wrist. Like I was mentioning before, 11 millimeters thick and a 43 millimeter case. The lug span here is just around 53 millimeters with those male end links and around 48 millimeters with those uh, lugs right there. Uh, I think this wears pretty well on my seven and a half inch wrist. Obviously I could pull off a 43 millimeter watch. I think someone with a very small wrist, this might be a problem. Uh, although I would just wear it on a strap. This on a strap, I think would look amazing. This looks really good on the bracelet, but it would probably look even better on a strap. They're charging $850 for this, which I think is a very good price considering, of course, that it is super titanium and you get the atomic or radio controlled functionality, which is excellent. You get a beautiful dial and that moon phase, just a really good looking watch at a great price. And they always run special. So right now I think they're giving you some sort of little swag bag if you buy this. So uh, that's pretty awesome. And then if you sign up with an email, sometimes they give a discount. So definitely check their website, uh, the Citizen website I'm talking about here, and I'll uh, put a link to this watch down in the description, of course. There is the loom. I have the hands moving around here. I changed the world time so that the hands would move a lot while I'm doing the loom shot. Loom is very nicely applied to the indices and hands. No loom on that moon phase or the second hand. That would have been nice. However, they decided not to go that route. I'm fine with it. I think it's a great looking watch. It's very, very light and it's very, very functional. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of the world's first atomic watch with a moon phase? I think it's pretty cool. I think it looks great. They took that moon theme and ran with it and put that moon pattern on the dial, which I think looks really good, especially in the blue and the black versions. Even the red version looks very good as well. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Anyway guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video.